What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rolling out with yet another Palafin team, but this time featuring one of the strongest and coolest Pokemon for ranked double battles, Sizzler. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you for all the support that has been going out on my Ranked Double Battle videos for the brand new game. It really does go a long way. So again, huge shout out to all, all my subscribers and everybody who just tunes in and watches. It really does go a long way. But we get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Pelper. I love this Pokemon so much. I think it is awesome. And it is such a good Pokemon for double battles considering it could set rain and it could set tailwind so you got weather control and speed control all in one it's got the focus sash as its item drizzle as its ability then it's got hydro pump hurricane which hits 100 percent of the time in the rain and it's got tailwind and protect for its final two moves second pokemon on today's team is going to be palafin and we used palafin in the past with the choice scarf but this time we are rocking out with him with the choice band i feel like i'm gonna like him more with the choice scarf because the speed is just so good but choice band can make this pokemon do 10 times more damage not literally but uh figuratively but it's got jet punch close combat ice punch and flip turn to swap in and out so this pokemon can turn into its hero form middle left is going to be hydrogon over here and we used hydrogon in a video couple of days ago i think i would say about a week ago and uh hydrogon is really strong it's just great all around solid special attacker especially with terror typing she can change your typing into something that uh can protect you really well just roll out the battle strong that way it's got levitate as ability rocking life orb as item to make it do as much damage as it possibly can then it's got dark pulse draco meteor flash cannon and protect fourth pokemon on today's team is going to be arcanine and arcanine is insanely good for vgc doubles super strong super great at controlling the battle considering it has snarl for special attack, attack drops and then it has intimidate and willow with to burn physical attackers and drop physical attack so you can constantly drop whatever attacks that you want with this pokemon it's got the mago berry as item and it's got flare blitz willow wisp snarl and protect for its four moves Bottom left hand corner is going to be the one and only scissor. I know a lot of people like scissor, including myself, and this Pokemon is insanely strong on the rank ladder considering it has its ability technician and it learns bullet punch. So on top of that, you can also terror type into steel with this one to make bullet punch do a lot more damage. Great Pokemon all around, and then that first turn priority just takes over. It's got clear amulet as item, bullet punch like we already mentioned, and then close combat, sword stance, and protect. Final Pokemon is going to be our support Pokemon for today's team. It is going to be Amoongus. Amoongus is just great for support, considering it is really good in Trick Room as well. So if you're going up against a Trick Room team, you got to be bringing in this Amoongus, because Amoongus in Trick Room is pretty much OP. You can get first turn priority spores and just legit put everybody to sleep on the field. It's got Regenerator as its ability, Rockin' the Okaberry as its item, and then it's got Clear Smog, Rage Powder, Spore, and Protect. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Palafin and Scizor team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a pretty strong team. And I feel like I faced this team before. It's got the Golden Go, the Garchomp, the Mousehold, Annihilate, Murkrow for uh, Speed Control, and then last but not least, it is rolling out with Hydreigon. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I could set up Tailwind with Pelipper and just take Weather Control, considering he has no Pokemon that can uh, change up the weather. So I might just go Pelipper for the lead, set the rain, and maybe go in with Palafin, because I can always uh, flip turn out and kind of go from there. But I gotta watch out for other Pokemon because he could go into a Tailwind Murkrow and then get air for my Palafin that way. That is why I always like to have that Choice Scarf on the Palafin. Hmm, what do I do here? He's obviously gonna lead a Murkrow, right? Murkrow and somebody else. I feel like Palafin could be pretty good. I think Palafin could be nice. We could watch out for the Population Bombs. Population Bombs could do us dirty. But I'm gonna bring Palafin in the back end. Gotta roll out with Scizor and then last but not least, I'm thinking just Hydreigon with that Light Orb. Right, Hydreigon with the Life Orb, or I could go with Arcanine, but I feel like he has too much to kind of just rip into my Arcanine with. Hmm. Yeah, I'm liking Hydreigon. I'm liking Hydreigon here. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. Hopefully, we can get started off strong here. Looking to grab ourselves a win and just get after today's video. But yeah, I used Scissor in the past. I actually put him on the team that I made for this game, and Scissor is really really good considering technician you get the first turn priority and he just rolls out strong i feel like he just wasn't viable in the uh the dynamax format because people could just dump on him and a lot of people were holding fire moves but what now that we're back without the dynamax it's working really good he's gonna go murkrow and that pokemon right there um hmm i might just hard swap the uh, palf in here set up the tailwind and go into scissor because i feel like he's gonna tailwind and go for population bombs i feel like that's an absolute must right that just seems like the play. So going into a Pokemon like Scissor might be our best bet. And I really do like that. I really do like that. Because say he Tailwinds, 
he could population bomb before my palafin or pelper even goes so then he can just take out my palafin and we won't even have it so i'm just gonna hard swap the palafin i'm gonna hard swap it right into scissor hopefully scissor can eat up population bombs i know this move is op but scissor is a steel type scissor should be able to soak up pretty well here so there's the tailwind we know population bombs coming out here he's not terror typing which is good for us but i feel like he has to go after palafin right you go after a pelipper that kind of hurts the soul the pelipper's dead I don't. I, 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 the, why is that move in the game? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Now I don't have Tailwind. But I do have Jet Punch. I do have Jet Punch, which I'm going to roll into. I'm going to roll back, right back into my Palafin, dude. We got Choice Band. We got Jet Punch for first turn priority. I'm really digging it. I'm really liking it a lot. I'm really liking this a lot. So let's go for that Jet Punch. Straight into you. And I might just Swords Dance here. I think Swords Dance has to be my play. So at that time, I can start bullet punching. I know he has foul play, which can do a ridiculous amount of damage. But it just seems like Sword Sand's got to be our play. Set up the scissor. Have jet punches fly out from the Palafin. We can roll out strong from there. Because Palafin stabbed. It's got the choice band boost. It's got the rain boost. It's stacking. And its attack stat is one of the highest in the game. Jet punch going to fly here. No sash, right? Get it on out of here. Sick of that mouse hold. Sick of it here. Get it on out of my game. It's probably going to drop a foul play into one of my Pokemon. Who are you going after? My Palafin. And my Palafin uh, does pretty well. But now I get the Swords Dance set up, which is just gorgeous. It is lovely. Um, we know Palafin can soak up another Foul Play, which is huge. So I might just Jet Punch into the Murkrow, bring it down to Sash, and Bull Punch the other slot. Which is going to be Hydreigon. It's going to be Hydreigon. So, I mean, I could Jet Punch the uh, Murkrow. Could also do this, but... Yeah, I think I am going to do that. Bull Punch, but Terrasalize this thing. I have to Terrasalize this thing. Or I could double down into Murkrow, because Foul Play could do me dirty. Hmm. I think I'm fine with this. I think I am fine. We know Murkrow doesn't have Protect. I'm going to Terrasalize. I am going to go straight for a Bull Punch. We're going to hope he's not Terrasalizing into Poison, because I have seen a few Hydreigons that, that Terrasalize into Poison type. It could be bad, but we're Terrasalizing right into Steel. We have Sword Stance set up. We have Technician. We have Bullet Punch. We, and we're, I'm just liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Show me he's not Terrasalizing. He is not. He's going to Haze. Okay, I mean, I can deal with that. I can deal with the haze. I can deal with the haze. Jet Punch gonna fly here. Do some strong damage. Murkrow soaks pretty well here. And Bull Punch gonna fly. So he brings us our Sword Dance out of the picture, but Bull Punch still should be able to do a nice chunk of damage. Yeah. Bull Punch, real deal here. Draco Meter's gonna fly, and Palafin's dead, right? The so Palafin drops out here. I don't mind that too much. Because we can just roll into our final Pokemon. And it seems like we're sitting in a good spot because we have first turn priority. We have first turn priority. It's going to be Hydreigon Overrun. And I do have Protect. I do indeed have Protect. So I feel like we take out the Murkrow, but we protect this Pokemon. And we just start slowly getting after the battle that way. I could Sword Dance here. Sword Dance could be a good play, but I'm just going to go after the Murkrow. I'm just protecting my, my thing. Because I think he's going to... He might even swap the Hydreigon slot. Just to get his attack stat back. But Tailwind ends soon, so I want to get rid of this Murkrow just so we can't set up another Tailwind. And we can kind of roll it for it that way. We'll see. We'll see. This one's going to be close, but yo, Scissor is the real deal. Scissor is the real deal. He does withdraw the highest round. We're going to see his final Pokemon. And it is going to be Annihilate. Okay, I don't mind Annihilate coming out here. Got to protect my Hydreigon. I could have went straight into an attack, which could have been good for us. And Bull Punch going to fly. I think Tailwind ends after this turn, right? I believe it does. But we get rid of the Murkrow. I can bullet punch the Hydreigon, no problem. I think this battle's gonna be really, really close. But Hydreigon's gonna get some work done. The Tailwind's finally gone. I'm a big fan of that. Um, I gotta bullet punch the Hydreigon, right? I feel like I have to. If not, he drops a Draco Meteor into me. So from here, I could drop a Draco Meteor. Could drop a Dark Pulse. Um, I'd rather drop a Draco Meteor and hit this uh, Annihilate. Seems like our best bet. Go after Annihilate and just straight up bullet punch this thingy. Yeah, bull punch is gonna be flying from my scissor. Bull punch comes out here. We take out the Hydreigon. No problem. And all we have to do is land a strike meter, right? Correct? It just seems like the play. It's not gonna KO, but then I can bull punch and, and just get rid of the Annihilate. No problem. Annihilate goes for a close combat. We might die from that. I'm kinda scared. Because this thing outspeeds us, but its defense is down. But its defense down. We should be able to KO, right? Defense down. 
We can't let him get off another close combat. We have to KO here or we lose. KO, please. Beautiful. Thank you, Hydreigon, with the life orb. Getting work done, cleaning up that Annihilate, and we take battle number one. That first battle had me a little worried that we were going to lose it, but hey, my Hydreigon came in the back end, dropped the Draco Meteor, picked up a win, but we're hopping into our second battle, going up against a Dodonzo team, and Dodonzo might be one of the strongest Pokemon in the game at the moment. So we're going to have to counter it with Amoongus, considering we have clear smog, we can change the stat drops, or we can just put this Pokemon to sleep. But I feel like leading it, right? It just seems like a strong lead. I could also go into Palafin for a lead and just swap out just so I can have it in the back end. But Amoongus has to come in here. And I don't know if I should lead it or not. I do not know if I should lead that Pokemon or not. Because if he goes into the Ice Pokemon, that could be tough. He could go into Bombastone so and get the lead. I could go into Arcanine for a lead. Because if he wants to go into all that, I can kind of just get after it with the Arcanine. Or I can just go into Scizor. I'm liking Scizor here. We'll go Scizor. We will bring... Uh, do I bring Pelper in the back end? I don't even know if we need Pelipper. Scissor does work. I like Scissor all around here. I'm going to go with Mooga's Scissor. Uh, do I bring Pelipper? I think we just... I'd rather lead Palafin, right? I would definitely rather lead Palafin. I'm going to lead Palafin. I'm going to go Scissor. And I'm going to bring Hydreigon in the back. Let's lock it in. We have three seconds left. But the Danzo and this little fish, I think it's Tasugimi. Tasugimi, something like that. Tasugummy. It's insane. It... it if they're both out on the field at the same time, the little fish hops in the big fish's mouth, and he gets plus two on all stats. So that's why we need Amoongus. We have Clear Smile to get rid of all stat changes on the Pokemon. It could be good. It could be good. We'll see who he wants to end up leading. We go into the Ice Pokemon. I should have just led the Skizzy. I should have just led the Skizzy. Um, do I protect on my little dude? He's going to have Slush Rush. We already know that. He's definitely going to have Slush Rush. Uh, I'm just going to protect you. I could put C-Titan to sleep. If I wanted to. I could. I could. But I feel like he has to go after Palafin. Definitely got a flip turn out. Definitely got a flip turn out here. Is my Palafin outspeed? Probably not the the, the C Titan. C Titan has a slush rush. It definitely outspeeds that bomb us now. But he's gonna terrasize. Is that gonna be the uh the C Titan? That's gotta be the C Titan. No, it's gonna be a bomb stone. He's gonna swap the bomb stone. He's gonna go straight ice with that. Probably looking to drop blizzards. I'm protecting Amoogus right now, so I'm fine with that. Maybe he didn't bring the Donzo. I don't know if he brought the Donzo. We protect. He's going to go first with C-Titan, right? Yeah, he's going to go for an Ice Spinner. That's fine. You should be able to eat that, Palafin. Yeah, cool. Palafin eats that. We can flip turn now. We should be faster than that little Obamasa right there. Correct. Show me that we're faster than him. Good work, Palafin. Palafin's faster. Gets off a little bit of damage, and I feel like we just roll straight into uh, Skizzy Sizzle, right? Sizzle can get some work, though. Scissor can get some work done. Arcanine would have been good, but I'm going to bring in Scissor. Because I'm not dealing with that with the Hydreigon. I'm going to need that Steel Typing for the Hydreigon if Ice is still in the field. So I'm just going to go into Scissor, not to Rasslize, and have Amoongus get some work done. But we knew the Blizzard was flying. I'm fine with that. That's why I predicted Amoongus. And we'll, we'll take this hit from Scissor. As long as we don't get frozen. Please don't freeze me. Please don't freeze me. Cool. No freeze happen. Uh, could put you to sleep. And go straight after this. This thingy right here. Which I'm kind of leaning towards. I feel like if anyone's protecting. It's going to be the Sea Titan. And we can't put the. Uh, we can't put the Bomb in the uh, bomb Snow to sleep. Considering it is Grass type. I'm just going to go straight after the Bomb Snow. With a Bullet Punch. Maybe it might KO. We do have Technician. It is Stab. It is super effective. It's some big damage. And it's Scizor. And if I can do that. I don't think he can KO my Amoongus. Actually, it's going to be close. An Ice Spinner, I think, actually can KO, but maybe he'll go after my Scissors, seeing how powerful this Pokemon is. But I kind of need a Moogus if he's rocking the Donzo. He's going to go for an Ice Shard. Okay. The Ice Shard's into you. You should be able to eat that up. Yeah. The Ice Shard's into you. Bull Punch is going to fly. I can protect next turn if he's still alive. And Bull Punch isn't going to pick up the KO. So he's going to go for an Ice Spinner. Is that over into my Scissor? No. He's going to double down to my Moogus and take him out. So we got to hope that the Donzo is not on the field later. Because the Donzo could be a problem. Donzo could definitely be a problem. Donzo could be a problem. But at this point, we can go into Palafin. We can go into Palafin right now. And I really want to choice in the Jet Punch. I feel like that's our best option, right? But I wonder what Pokemon he has to back in. I don't think he would bring the Donzo. I would think he would lead the Donzo, right? Because you had the Donzo. I feel like you have like the uh, the Golden Go and that, and that other Pokemon in the back end. Golden Go and the Gargle Knack. We'll go Close Combat. Close Combat's not bad, but I feel like Jet Punch is, is our play. 
Your punch should be able to pick up KOs. I could Terrasilize. I might do that. Just to get that water boost. Do you think Sea Titan can soak this? I don't think he can. I really don't think he can. Jet Punch hits way too hard. I'm just going to Bullet Punch. I'm going to roll into this. It's my play all day. We're choice banned too. We're choice banned. So I'm going to Terrasilize the, uh, the Palf in this, this match. And we going to get after it. I feel like this one's coming down in the wire. We got to hope that the Donzo's not in the back end. Because if he has the Donzo, I think we lose this battle. Instantly. The Donzo is absolutely broken. We brought the Moogus in the counter, but he didn't lead it. Jet Punch is going to fly. Can you KO the Sea Titan here? Please, thank you. We don't. We don't. I don't like that. I don't like that. Bull Punch KOs you all day. So we get rid of you. And what is Sea Titan going? Because you're scaring me, Sea Titan. You're scaring me a little bit. I have Bull Punch or Jet Punch to take him out. Let's see if he rolls or who he goes after. He's going to go Entrainment. And it's going to fail. Awesome. Dope. Sweet. Awesome. We love it. wonder what he was trying to do. What's he trying to do there? But he's going to throw out his next one. No, it's the Donzo. It's the Donzo. It's the Donzo. That's a problem. That's a huge, 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 huge problem. Oh, no. We're going to lose this battle. This battle's over, right? Mm. What do I do? Do I go after the Donzo right now? I have to go into the Donzo in case he swaps. I could Sword Sands here. I am going to Sword Dance. This is so tough. I don't like this game one bit. Yeah, he withdraws. Mm. Ah! This is why I need it, Moogus. This game's over. The Donzo is broken. Like, look at this. Let me just hop into your mouth. And here you go. Here's a little plus two on every single stat. Why was this, like, a good thing? And when you kill the Donzo, the fish doesn't die, too. The fish just pops out in the battle. And he's ready to fight again. And it learns Draco Meteor. Not fair. Not fair whatsoever. We drop a jet punch, coming in hot. This thing soaks like crazy too. And he's gonna substitute. Oh my lord. And it probably has leftovers. And it probably has leftovers. See, this is why I needed a move this. I needed to be able to clear smog and get rid of all the stats. That's why I probably should have swapped the move this in, in that hail. No bueno. No good. Um, I do still have Terrasse eyes. Actually, I don't. It's on my, it's on my boy right here. And I'm choosing to this. Uh, do I want a bull punch to try to take out that? But I know jet punch won't. But Palfin's gonna be faster, so it don't really matter. I guess I'll bull punch and fade this out. He protects. Bruh, what am I supposed to do? How do I defeat the Donzo? It makes no sense. I know I need a Moongus, but like, without a Moongus, it's impossible, it seems like. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have any ways to counter the Donzo. Because this Pokemon, at the moment, seems to be way too broken for this game. It really does. It really does. I only seen videos of it. I haven't used it yet. This is my first time going up against it. And it's absurd. It is absurd. It is absolutely absurd. I'm going to jet punch again because we're choosing that. Um, I could protect, but I'm pretty sure it learns EQ. So if it learns EQ, it's just gonna just gonna run strong with me. Substitute the Donzo. Absurd. And he can just protect next turn. This thing's not gonna fade until the next hit. See? Now it's gonna fade. Now he can protect next turn. He'll get leftovers and he'll get leftovers again. And he'll be back up to pretty much full HP. And then she's gonna drop another substitute. Gonna order up here, and that's probably gonna KO, right? No, we eat, but does that give attack boost sometimes? We didn't even fade the substitute! What is going on? I simply don't know what to do. This Pokemon is... Ah, I don't know what to do. I mean, I guess we'll go for a close combat. We're plus two. Still. That punch going to fire. This thing is defensively bulked. This should take out the substitute, right? Correct. Please tell me three hits take out the substitute. Thank you. He's going to go first, though, and he's just going to get rid of my uh, my Palafin, right? Yep. He's going to get another attack boost. It's GG's. It's GG's. There's just no way of countering this. <laughs> Why is this in the game? I might have to abuse it, not going to lie. I might start using it to push rank ladder. He gets an attack boost every time he uses order up, too. Those combat comes through here. I'm Swords Dance. I'm a Swords Dance Scissor, and I'm doing four damage. 
it's over. We're not killing this thing. My close combat does it, does as much as his leftovers recovers. It does as much, and I'm pretty sure you can't hit the uh, the left side, right? I kind of want to see. I kind of want to test that theory right now. I really do want to test that. So if I go bull punch into this slot over here, can we take out the fish and just ruin the Donzo? No, yeah, we can't hit that either. Who put this in the game? Can we get a flinch? Oh, you're doing a lot of damage. Let me flinch. These subs. Okay, you're doing a lot of damage. And you do out. You're out speeding this Pokemon right now. How'd you go into out speed? I do not have my terrestrialization. Uh. Wait, let me see this thing's stats. Let me go here, check status. What is your stats? Yeah, what is this? How do they allow this? <laughs> I just don't understand. Uh, it's gonna order up on me. I gotta go Dark Pulse into like, uh, I'm gonna Sword Stance again. I am Sword Dancing. Go Sword Dance again after this. Trying to get something rolling. I think its special defense is rather lower. Hmm. I'm now plus four. I'm now plus four. <laughs> do a sword dance again? I'm thinking of swords dancing again. Because if I hit this thing, I'm not going to do any I'm not gonna do anything on substitute. And I think Dark Pulse can just take out the substitute and we can sword dance up again. That should fade it, right? It does fade it. Okay. Who are you going after now? That's the real question. It's probably gonna order up onto my Hydreigon, right? Yeah, you're dead, Hydreigon. I hate to break it to you. I needed you. But we're plus six. We are plus six. He's plus five. I... Dude, what <laughs> is going on with this? I mean, he has C Titan in the back, and we took out a Bomb of Snow. If C I don't think Scissor can KO here. I do not think Scissor can KO. We're going for close combat. We're going for close combats. 100%. Plus 6. This thing's only plus 2 on defense. If this doesn't KO, I don't know what's going to. A plus 6 close combat. I think he outspeeds us too. He sets up a sub. He sets up a sub. He's going to protect next turn. We're lowering our defense though, which kind of which kind of sucks. But does this take out the sub at least? Please tell me it does. Did did it not? Nah, nah, no, 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 nah, nah, no, no, no. I'm running this one. A hold up, hold up. Plus, yo, tell me how a plus six close combat from a scissor does not take out a substitute. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not dealing with this one. We're running this one, guys. I'll take the L all day on this. I don't understand why the Pokemon company puts Pokemon in the game that are like that. Like that OP and then they're just like, hey, we can use it on rank ladder. That was just the most broken thing I've ever seen. I had a plus six scissor that couldn't even fade a substitute with a close combat. Come on now. Come on now. But yeah, we're going to put that one behind us. We're sitting one and one on today's video. Hopping into our third and final battle. Going up against a Swift Swim Barrascuta team. And I love Barrascuta in Sword and Shield. One of my favorite Gen 8 Pokemon. Uh, but he has Pelper to set the rain. We also have the Palafin. He has Talonflame to set up Tailwind. Uh, Hydreigon. Oh, team's very similar. Teams are very similar. That's not Zenargalak. Uh, who do I lead? Arcanine could be good, but a lot of Pokemon just rip into this Arcanine. So I do not want to bring Arcanine. Even though he could be really good. Uh, I feel like we need to match with Tailwind, so I'm going to go Pelipper for a lead. I might even go Palafin. I love just swapping out Palafin. So I do like that. I do like the Palafin and the Tailwind. Uh, we're going to go Hydreigon and we're going to go Scizor. It just seems like our best play, right? Makes the most sense. Makes the most sense. But yo, Scissor has been a beast in today's video. If we were going up against any other Pokemon than the Donzo in that last battle, that plus six Scissor would have just ripped through the whole team with the bullet punches. Would have been GG's. No problem whatsoever. Everyone's getting one shot. But he can't even fade a substitute.
I was hoping maybe we had a shot. If I had Terrastalization, we could have been chilling. So I would have used it on my Hydreigon, and we probably could have gotten rid of the Donzo and won that battle. But I already used my Terrastalization on that Palafin. Wasn't too good for us. Wasn't a good call from us. But we set up the Marine. Um, I can just... I got to set up the Tailwind. And I feel like we have to go into this flip turn. But who do I flip turn it into? I think I'm just going to flip turn into this thing. Because I do have the Focus Ash, and I know I have Hydro Pump on Pelipper. And special attacking is going to be a little bit better for us. But he's going to swap out the Town Flame. He's not even going to set up a Tailwind. He's going to go into Bear Scooter. I'm kind of fine with that. I don't, I don't mind that too much. I get the flip turn out of here. I think a rock... Ooh, that did some nice damage, Palafin. That did some nice damage. But I feel like a rock move is coming into the Pelipper. That's totally fine by me considering uh, we have the Focus Ash. So we could go Hydreigon here. Or I could go Skizzy. I don't mind Skizzy. I do not mind Skizzy. With the Bull Punch Technician. Actually, I don't know. I feel like if we Terrasize, we can KO the... Uh, I mean, I can just straight up close combat next turn. I'm not going to have Tailwind set up. I could go into you. I'm going to save the Scissor. I'm going to save the Scissor. I'm going to go into Hydre. Hydre gone, baby. My dude. So Hydreigon's going to come out here. Tailwind's going to fly for the rest of the team. And is this thing going to Sulk here, one of my Pokemon? I had to guess, right? Where he does that, that's fine. Like I said, I'm totally fine with that considering I have a Hydro Pump on my Pelipper ready to roll. So now I have Tailwind set up. I can go into a nice little Hydro Pump. I can also Dark Pulse straight into that Barrier Scooter. And I know it has Swift Swim. And it might be able to outspeed us. And it probably has Close Combat, but I can't Thrasilize into the different typing. Let's do this. It might Thrasilize itself. I do outspeed it regardless. That's your KO. Beautiful, beautiful. Big time KO. I think this Hydro Pump, if it connects, should be able to pick up a KO here as well. And we know he's going for a Body Press. He's going to Body Press my Hydreigon. And I miss my Hydro Pump. No. Salt cure me. Okay, that's an easy soak. I'm going to Hydro Pump again. He might just protect this turn. But I needed that Hydro Pump. I still have the Palafin in the back end, but he's physical attacking. And Salt Cure's doing a little bit too much damage right now. A little bit too much damage. We'll go for a Hydro Pump again. He's probably going to protect, but he's going to bring back out Talonflame. Maybe set up the Talon here. I could double down into that. I might just go for Brave Bird. I might just protect this turn. Do I protect this turn? Just so he doesn't have Gale Wings? Nah, I'm going to go straight for a Hydro Pump. I guess I'll Dark Pulse. He does set up the Talon. The Talon comes out here. We are Hydro Pumping, which is beautiful. He did not protect. Pelper should be able to outspeed. Hydreigon's doing a ridiculous amount of damage. And can you land his Hydro Pump, please? Pelipper! 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 Come on now! I need you! I need you, buddy! I needed you! You're dead now! Talonflame KOs you all day long. Pelipper! Paloops, man! I need it, my boy! I need it, my boy! No, not two. What's the action on this? 80. Missing back-to-back -back Hydro Pumps. We'll go for it again, I guess. Um, I might just double down into this thing. I think that's my play. He's going to Brave Bird into my Hydreigon. Hydreigon dies. That thing's going to die to recoil. Pelper gets off another Hydro Pump, though. Can you land it? I, yo, can you land this before you go out? That could be big for us. This could be really big for us. Developer, let's go. He landed it. Amazing. Finally. This thing should have been dead two turns ago, but we'll take that. We'll take that. Salt Cure is going to KO us. That's fine. That's fine. We'll take that. We still have Scissor, and we have our Hero Fin Palafin with Jet Punch in the rain ready to go. So I might just Trasalize it because I'm going to know his final two Pokemon. But no way. That hurts the soul right there. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. Two in a row. This battle could have been over a while ago, but now we're keeping it close. We have the Scissor. We have the Palafin, our two strongest attackers on the team. I'm ready to roll strong. I'm ready to roll strong. My boy. I love how he comes out. I just love it. He's going to go into Hydreigon. Uh, hmm. I could just close combat that. Oh, you only have one Pokemon. Oh, this is lovely. We're just going to choice into close combat. And we're going to close combat on you. We have two close combat Pokemon. Two lovely close combat Pokemon. This is beautiful. This is lovely. It couldn't get better. It couldn't get better. But who did we take out before this? The Barrascuta. The Rocky Minecraft Pokemon. 
And I can't even remember the last Pokemon that we take it that we take out. I can't even remember it. Why can't I? I don't know why. Hmm. Simply can't remember. He goes to a flamethrower. Might be able to eat that up in the rain. We do not. Scissor is so weak to that. But it's GG's, right? It's easily GG's. Dead. Out of here. Beautiful. 2-1 for today's video. Nice, lovely winning record. Came down to the wire a little bit. That battle was definitely closer than it should have been. Grabbed ourselves a winning record for today's video and got the Palafin and Scissor team rolling. I feel like Palafin and Scissor out there at the same time is super strong considering you have the jet punches ready to go and you have the bullet punches. So you're just constantly having that first turn priority and just taking out Pokemon left and right. But like I said, we went two and one. Solid set of battles. Grabbed ourselves that winning record. But the only team we lost to was that the Donzo team. You guys know how to counter the Donzos. Let me know in the comment section down below. That was my first time versus them. And at the moment, it seems pretty broken. And it feels like it should be banned. But we'll see how it goes. Maybe I can learn some ways to counter it off screen. And kind of come back next recording and versus another one. And maybe win up against it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. So you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.